So we got a great video for today. We're gonna show you a couple cool animals, give you some updates on what's going on. But real quick, next Tuesday, the drawing for the next giveaway for all of the RMB Reptile swag. So make sure you get in on that. Video will be in the description. You gotta go comment on it and like it and subscribe to us. It's on 813, man. So go do that. Alright, so I just want to go through real quick um, some cool snakes that we have and their different characteristics of the genes they have in them. This is a Pastel Lori Hidden Gene Woma. Now, the Pastel on its own will brighten up the snake, have like brighter yellows and some orange hues, and will clean up the pattern. Like, as you see, like inside the alien heads, there can be like some dots or like some people call it graniting or some people just say that the snake looks dirty because it has like dirty pixels on it, I don't know. But the pastel kind of undoes, undoes that a little bit. And then also in here we have Hidden Gene Woma which was brought in by Kevin McCurley and on its own it brightens up the pattern. It sort of makes like a, I don't know if you know what a regular Woma looks like but almost like a spidery type pattern. And when you mix it in with pastel, it really kind of tightens up the alien heads and makes the pattern real busy. And then you have the Lori in here, which does all these like connected alien heads and really like bullseye kind of alien heads. And also has a tendency to have some dorsal striping. But when you mix those all together, it really kind of makes these tight bullseye patterns, which we think is really cool. And we're actually trying to make super lorry of this this year which might be really interesting that should make this snake look silver and way more busier on its own I would expect to see these patterns tighten up a lot more and look real crazy and chaotic so this is one of our males we produced them I think he's cool and uh, yeah there's a snake highlight yeah. Hmm? No. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to go to our reptile dinner, and a lot of times people are asking us, uh, are you gonna eat reptiles there? Which is, doesn't make any sense. But, people ask you that? People do, like a lot, I don't know why. It's weird. It is weird, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. But we're just meeting up with a bunch of friends, talking about some reptiles, snakes, and all different sorts of stuff, so hang in there with us. If you just this is our dinner. And then, so it Lucas Landon reptiles. Royals. <laughs> You know it's true. You're gonna you in the ball, dude. I know. <laughs> spider, spider will take some familiar faces. You guys all in there? Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? How you That's doing? Right. One of the things that we like about this hobby is all the cool people that are here and getting to know people and connecting with people and uh, yeah, just like sharing all that like knowledge that's out there you don't have to do this on your own so that's definitely one big thing that we really enjoy I really enjoy is connecting with people that know their stuff and that can have fun doing it have fun growing the community yep hey guys we got a little package going out army reptiles tape and uh, this is for a special package for a friend of ours a good friend Bob Vu so uh, he has some really awesome animals, and hopefully he sees this before uh, he gets it. And uh, yeah, we just like sending out stuff, and we enjoy the community. So you know, if you have anything that you're like, hey guys, you know, we want you to do blah, 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 I don't know, let us know because we're open to lots of things. I wonder what's in this. You'll have to check out his uh, Facebook page or Instagram page to find out what it is when he gets it. I just want to give you guys a little update on one of our long-standing, non-producing females we got about eight years ago. So we'll tell you the quick story. I know that we put her 
in our update videos and stuff like that, but this is a het hide female. Ryan, you can probably get in here nice and close. But she looks pretty normal, but she's 100% het for pied. And we've had her for about eight years. And she has bred for six years at least. Um, she eats well, she breeds well. We see her locked all the time. And she just ovulated yesterday. We posted that on Facebook, but just ovulated and we're really excited that she can finally, hopefully prove out as 100% het. Even though we know she is, still nice to see something come from her. So, root us on <laughs> and we will update you when she finally has her eggs. So since she just ovulated, we're in about 40 days, 39, 40 days, something like that. She should lay her eggs and we'll be updating you guys on that. And then we'll be updating you on the clutch cutting once we have them 56 days or so after that. So yeah, just a little update. Pretty, pretty girl, but like a mascot here because she hasn't <laughs> produced even though we've bred her for like six years straight. So a decade in the making. <laughs> let's hope not. Let's hope she doesn't make it to 10 years without breeding. But anyway. So yeah. A lot of times people think that it's real fun and fast, you know, breeding snakes, but um, it is fun, but not always fast. It can be very time consuming and uh, using a lot of patience. So that was just an update. Never give up. So earlier this week, I did some footage of pulling rhino rat snake eggs, which surprised everybody. We have rhino rat snake eggs. Um, unfortunately, I probably touched the touch screen or something and autofocus turned off. So all the footage is garbage. So I'm just gonna update you on it real quick. Um, we have them separated now. The female is back on food. She had two pups yesterday or the day before. Um, we didn't have great fertility. They can usually have like, you know, 10 or 12 eggs. And we got a couple of slugs, and we have five nicely calcified eggs. But when I candled them at the time, um, I didn't see very strong veins in three of them. So I'm letting them go in here, and we'll see what happens. Um, maybe they'll produce a baby, maybe they will go bad um, but this is only really we haven't done this too many times and colubrids are still kind of a thing we're learning about so um, I'm happy to produce any of them actually so so the colubrid eggs especially around rat snakes and the Asian variety of colubrids we incubate them at 80 degrees so that's just room temperature for here in the room. I just went around with the, the point and shoot thermostat and found a spot. It's about 80, 81 degrees. And I just set them up the same way we do our other eggs with the vermiculite and water and egg crate and all that. And so they're moist and humid. I gotta find another word. Um, they're humid and uh, warm as they need to be and hopefully we'll have some in uh, 90 days third clutch first clutch didn't hatch full disclosure second clutch was pretty good we produced uh, eight I think last year um, only help have two that are still on fish one actually good news this one ate frozen thawed two of them yesterday with no fish in the bowl so that one might be graduating but uh, we don't like to sell them until they're on frozen thawed rats. Um, feeding them fish isn't that hard. It's actually kind of neat, uh, interesting thing to watch, but it's easier to get frozen thawed stuff for people, so we don't like to sell them until we have them converted over. But there's your update. <laughs> Thanks guys for joining us and I hope you enjoyed our video. So don't forget again to go check out our giveaway video. You just gotta 
comment and you can get some R&B Reptile swag. This is not one of the shirts you'll get, but <laughs> still swag. So we'll be sending up lots of cool stuff. Gotta go check it out, gotta comment and subscribe to it and like us. So don't forget to hit that notification bell. I keep on pointing over there, but really it's like down here somewhere. So hit that notification bell so that you can see when we're giving our giveaways as well as when we are posting other videos. Thanks guys, and as always, keep it real. What? <laughs> okay. And that's... <laughs> and that's uh, how the news goes. No jumping in the sewer. <laughs> Grass tastes bad. <clears throat> I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. We're gonna give him one of these get hooked hoax pan. Like, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> no laughing. <laughs> Not in the video. It's better than this, like doing one of these jobs. <laughs> You're not filming, are you? Of course I am. <laughs>